cracking on. <coughs> Lunchtime, the tenth. March, the cost of being a disciple. Large crowds were traveling with Jesus. And turning to them, he said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, his wife and children, his brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower, will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it? For if he lays the foundation is not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule him, saying, this fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or suppose a king is about to go to war against another king. Will he not first sit down and consider whether he is able with 10,000 men to oppose the one coming against him with 20,000? If he is not able, he will send a delegation while the other is still a long way off and will ask for terms of peace. In the same way, any of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure heap. It is thrown out. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. Mm. Well, as it happens, that rings very true in my own personal life at the moment because am I a disciple or not? Am I keeping my eyes on the hills or not? Am I a double-minded man? Will I start this project of loving you, my Lord, and just give up just because I've got no money? Paradoxically, the more I trust you, the more, the lighter I become. <laughs> I've had this sort of golden parachute of the sale of my own property, so I've supported myself for the last, since I closed my computer company in 1996. And, you know, I've always known that I could book into a hotel, I dress, you know, pretty down market really. My denim gradually fading into, but it's because everyone else has denim too. But I've always known I could book in, whereas now I can't. I physically cannot book into a hotel. I've got to sleep on the floor. And it, yeah. Uh, interesting. Paradoxically, <laughs> I feel better about it. And then this whole business that you have to hate your mother and father, even your own wife, but even your own self, which then denies the second commandment, love your neighbor as yourself, which means you must love yourself. Christ is saying, God is saying there, uh, Christ is saying that you must love God first, so you deny yourself, that is, take up your cross and follow me, so let the, the dead bury their own dead, etc. It's completely uncompromising, there's no wish-wash nonsense about that. Love God first, follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. That's it. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength.